Hi, and welcome to my new video tutorial about how to make lightsaber effects using the program GIMP. First, I'd like to tell you what GIMP is. GIMP is a program that is very similar to Photoshop. In fact, it's almost exactly the same. The only difference between GIMP and Photoshop is GIMP is free, whereas Photoshop can cost $200 plus, dollars, depending on where you buy it from. Now, GIMP is a really good program to use because it can create the same effects that Photoshop can as far as lightsabers are concerned. Now, I don't know about making video with the GIMP, but it's very good for making image lightsabers. So here you can see my preview image of me standing in my basement with my PVC lightsaber. Now, I took this image uh, quite a while ago um, just for a tutorial in Photoshop, but I think it'll be more efficient if I do it with the GIMP because a lot of people don't have the kind of money to use Photoshop. So let's go ahead and edit this image using GIMP. Now, <clears throat> I provide on my website at Obelisk Films the link that gets you to the GIMP's website and then you can download it from there. But it's a very good program. Alright, here's our preview image. First I'd like to tell you the way lightsabers are working. Any lightsaber image you see is based on a system of layers. Layers are very important to create transparency. So I'll show you how to do this. Let's click the layer button and say new layer. Now we'll call this layer and then you're going to hit OK. This is an empty layer. Now what I want to show you is layers are basically just stacked. Pretend there's a camera right up here shining down. It's looking through these like panes of glass. So it'll see this one first before it sees that one. So I'll just get my pencil tool and I'll draw something on top. I didn't draw this on my actual image. I drew it on this layer up here. So if I click this, I can turn it off. So let's delete this layer. Go back up here to new layer. Now, transparency is what we just had. So let's go ahead and make it black. The reason we're going to do this is so that you can actually put it on screen mode and create colors. Um, I'll show you why this is possible. So click the foreground color. Make sure the foreground is black. If it's not, you can just double click it, select black, then hit OK. So click foreground color and then hit OK. Now you'll notice that the screen has gone black because this layer is black. So if you toggle this off, you can see that you can tell that there are layers here. Now, this is important. We're going to be using screen mode to create lightsabers. Screen will do this to an image. If you have a black image, screen mode will get rid of all the dark values and bring colors out as light sources, which is great if you're making a lightsaber. Now here's the next part you need to do. Keeping this on screen, zoom into your lightsaber. Go over here to create and edit paths. Click this and select one point here. Now go up to the top corner and select there. Here and here. Then select back where you started. If you need to make some minor changes, go ahead and grab the little handles and you can adjust them to create the perfect mask. This will be making sort of a restriction area where you can apply an effect to only this section of the image. You're going to select uh, create selection from path. Now you have a mask. Now you can start adding your effects. So click your paintbrush button and select a larger circle. Let's have this one just 19 just so we can be more clear on it. You can also fill it if you want with a bucket tool, but I'm just going to do it like this just for clarity. Now start drawing. <coughs> now remember, make sure you have your lightsaber layer selected right here. That way you're applying it to this. So let's keep filling it up. Okay. Now you can go over here to select none, and it'll take the mask off. So now what you have is basically just your lightsaber. I'm going to just do something really quick that'll bring out the color. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to fix this, make the background a little darker so that things look, I don't know, the colors will look more brilliant. Okay. Now, select your lightsaber layer, right click and say duplicate. Then duplicate that layer also. Now your first layer needs to be blurred a little bit because any lightsaber that you have ever seen has a white core, but it's never exactly solid. It's always a little bit blurred because it's light, so it's going to be spreading a bit. So you're going to go over here to layer, actually, I'm sorry, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur is very important. 
So you're going to slide this over, and you'll see how it's a little bit blurred. I think 5 pixels is fine for this, so we'll just go ahead and use that. Now if I turn off these, this is what the core of the lightsaber is going to look like. It's a little bit blurred, which is good. So now we'll turn these ones back on, go to lightsaber copy, and then you'll say blur, Gaussian blur again, Gaussian blur of 20 this time. We'll just see what it looks like in the preview. It's a pretty nice blur, so that should add a nice little glow around it. And then we'll finally do the last layer right here, filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll do twice that, so we'll do 40. Make sure both of these have 40 in them. That's why I click this little thing, kind of adjust them both. Then you hit a perfect. Now you have a really nice glow. If you want a white lightsaber, you can leave it like this, but I'm sure you want some color. So you're going to right click these. This is how you're going to do your colors. You're going to want to merge all these layers together. You have to do them one at a time and be careful when you do this. Right click the top one and say merge down. It'll merge these two layers. Now, go up here and put them both on screen again because if you merge these two it'll just be black and there will be no core and you don't want that so put them on screen right click this one and then say merge down perfect now you have your lightsaber with the glow around it go ahead and put that layer on screen now your whole lightsaber core with the glows are one layer so now you can add the colors so you're going to go up here to layer go to colors and color balance this is the fun part Notice you have these three sliders, red, green, and blue. These will adjust your colors of your lightsaber. If you drag them, you can see little changes happening. You can make a yellow lightsaber, or you can make a green lightsaber, depending on what you want. My favorite's a blue, but I'll just be making a green one, because that, that looks pretty cool for this demonstration. This is selected as mid-tones, so basically it's very balanced. For a lightsaber, you don't want to adjust any of the shadows, but you do want to adjust some of the highlights. So go ahead and set your midtones to the way you want. I'm just going to adjust these to be zero. And if you're me, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of red to my green. So it gives it a little bit of a yellow hue. Then I go to highlights, which you can set those presets as well. So I'll bring the green values up a little bit, but not too high. Or you'll get that really bold color that you don't really want. And that looks good right there. So I'll hit OK. If I turn off the background layer, you can see exactly what the lightsaber will look like. So then you hit this, and that's your completed lightsaber. So you can just right-click it and say Merge Down. Now you have a completed image. So if you zoom out, this is what it looks like when it's finished. And you have a pretty nice-looking lightsaber, and you can do this with any image. Um, practice makes perfect. You might not get it right away, but it takes some time. So don't give up. Just keep trying. All right, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. So once you finish making your image, just save it, and you can use it as a wallpaper or whatever you want to do with it. But that's how you make lightsabers with GIMP.